my name is Rob Mackey. I'm the project manager for the gas terminal project here in Geelong. And I'm here to tell you about our project today. I'm excited by this project because it's a, it's a significant size project for Geelong. Uh, it's associated with the Geelong refinery and the Geelong refinery has been here for 65 years and it's part of the future of this site. It brings with it jobs and opportunities um, and I see it as a really important part of Victoria's infrastructure for the future. Uh, the gas terminal is essentially four major pieces of scope. We've got a gas terminal, it's essentially a big ship that's going to be permanently moored adjacent to the Geelong refinery. So that's the first piece of scope. Then, then we're building an additional jetty to the, to the floating gas terminal. And then there's an, a pipeline from the, the vessel through the refinery out into the Victorian transmission system, which is out at Lara. So there's about six and a half kilometres of pipeline. And then inside the refinery fence line, there's some facilities for nitrogen injection and some odorant injection as well to meet the gas specification for Victoria. The, the gas terminal is needed because Victoria uses a lot of gas. Now we've had heaps of cheap gas coming from Gippsland Basin and Bass Strait for 50 or 60 years. And we've built our lives around it. We've got gas heating, we've got gas hot water, we've got gas cooktops. Victoria uses more gas than other states in Australia. As that supply is dropping off in Bass Strait, the usage in Victoria is going to remain high. And it's forecast that there'll be a gap between the supply and demand ratio in the coming years. And that's where this project comes in and fills that gap, essentially with another gas supply for Victoria. Well, safety is our number one priority in everything that we do at Fever, uh, and this project's no different. So, being adjacent to the refinery, I think, is a real advantage. At the refinery, we're a major hazard facility. We've operated safely here for 60-odd years, and we continue to do so. So we can take that experience and, and leverage that with the, the new project. As part of the project, we'll develop a safety case, which is a really in-depth analysis of the project so that you understand the risks and you take appropriate mitigations to ensure that you've got a safe facility to start with, but also that you operate and maintain the facility to the standards required to ensure that it is safe for its ongoing operation. We're aiming for a start-up or first gas in 2024 to meet the winter demand of 2024. So if we work backwards, that means that we need to be constructing during 2023. And to reach that milestone, we need to take a final investment decision in sometime in mid-2022 to support that final investment decision, we really need our regulatory approvals in place and that's what we're really working on really hard through this year and in the early part of next year to obtain.